If you're doing any kind of a multi-camera edit, whether it's a podcast or you're filming yourself or an interview with a couple of cameras, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do super simple, super fast and super reliable a multi-cam edit with the brand new Filmora 14. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, welcome. Super excited to have you. My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. On this channel, we talk about making better videos using our smartphone, using a professional camera and turning that into a business. In case that's interesting for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But without any further ado, let's actually jump into Filmora 14 because I just want to show you this brand new feature because it's just super exciting and it works super fast. Maybe one more thing before we get started in our agency business, we're doing multiple podcasts where we're filming with multiple audio sources and multiple cameras. So that's why this multicam feature is super exciting for me. So basically what I have done is I've just um, shot a bunch of clips. Um, so this one looks very similar to the one that you can see right here. Then I also recorded a second angle, um, this one right here, and then also a third angle just to give you like a little bit of a behind the scenes shot. And now I'm just going to show you how you can do a multicam edit. Basically, all you need to do is select all of the clips that you want to have in your in your multi camera sequence and do a right click and then go to create multi camera clip. And then you basically you can just name it to whatever you want. And then you can also say or you can also pick between the synchronization mode. You know, if you have been doing time code or something, you could do that. But in this case, and for like 99% of all of the shots that I'm taking or all of the videos that I'm making, I'm just using audio. So it's very crucial that all of the camera sources are actually recording audio, then just click on OK. And now in the background, it's synchronizing everything. And it's basically saying setting up everything for you. So you don't need to do anything at all. And as you can see, this is also working super fast, just so that you know, like I'm editing this on an M2 MacBook Air, the base model with just eight gigabytes of RAM. And this shot here, this is from a C70. It's a cinema camera. And this one here is from an R5C. So it's also a cinema camera. And this one is from the iPhone. So these are not like super bad video quality files um, that, you know, that just look bad. So as you can see, um, the clip starts here and it basically just starts. So I have the first camera that I start started off with the iPhone. Let's just cut to that. Then the second one was this one right here. And then we have another one. Um, just checking everything if it is working. Let's actually skip that for now. So let's select this clip right here. This is what I want to um, start off with. And basically, as you can see, it's just super simple. You basically you just watch the video back. This is my quick sample take. As you can see, I'm recording in this camera. Then you just switch over. So basically, as you can see, and now for looking, if we're checking the video again. So this is my quick sample take. As you can see, I'm recording in this camera. I'll turn to this camera. And then it's automatically cutting between the different cameras. Now it's going back. I can go to this camera as well. Go to that camera as well. So basically, it's just super simple and super fast. Um, also something like if you if you notice that you made a mistake and I don't know, you don't want this camera here or this, you just tap on it and you can just, you know, correct it super fast. Go back to this one right here. But as you can see, it's basically just a thing of drag and drop and just tapping the video that you want to have. So overall, this is just like super simple and super fast. One thing that I wanted to show you as well is this right here in case you wanted to um, do a color grading or something something like this, just hop over here to color. And then you could just select the clip that you want to do your color correction or to pick the audio. Also, if you, I just want to use audio from this clip right here, um, I could um, mute the audio. No, it actually does that by, it, by itself. Like I'm not quite sure how it noticed that this clip right here has the best audio it actually has. Um, maybe it's doing some AI analyzing in the background here. Not too sure. But yeah, in case I wanted to just add a little bit of a color grade, I could just select the clip that I want, um, just do my basic color correction. I could use the LUTs that we have, by the way, in case you want to check them out. We do provide them in the Smartphone Filmmaking Pro Masterclass. You can check it out down below to just pick, uh, select the LUTs that you want, protect the skin care, uh, the skin tones, excuse me, change up the white balance. This one is a little, a little too magenta-ish, so we can take it back to the green a little bit. The exposure looks pretty good. Add a little bit of a contrast to the shot, something like this. The highlights down ever so slightly, and now we have a very nice looking image. 
image. I could go back to all of the other clips as well. And this is basically how you can edit all of your clips. So as you can see, super fast, super simple. Just select the clip that you want. And yeah, overall, just super happy with that. Super happy how easy it works, how fast it works. Um, also, like I said, I'm not sure if, if it selects the audio automatically. Um, not quite sure. I, I would not be surprised if it actually does that because the AI features that Filmora 14 has is just absolutely crazy. In case you want to check out Filmora for yourself, I will link it down below. It will be the first link below that like button. Filmora does offer a free trial, so you can basically just download it for yourself. You can use it on your Windows computer or on your Mac. They do also have smartphone versions as well. And yeah, just give it a shot to try it out. But if you are an aspiring content creator that needs a tool that helps you to edit your videos fast and simple, I would definitely recommend that you check it out for yourself. Huge thanks to Filmora for sponsoring this video, for supporting the channel. But as you have seen, like it's just a very cool feature. That's why I like making videos about it. In case you have any more questions, make sure to let me know. Make sure to subscribe. And in case you have not seen the video where I'm comparing the iPhone 16 Pro versus the 11 year old iPhone 5S, then click this video over there.